Subscribe to One India Channel and never miss an update. Union Home Minister Amit Shah held a review meeting on Monday with Chief Ministers of West Bengal, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and Lieutenant Governor of Andaman and Nicobar Islands to discuss the preparedness for very severe cyclone Yes, which is likely to make a landfall on the eastern coast on Wednesday. Shah asked the administrations of the states and union territories on the probable path of the cyclonic storm to ensure that adequate arrangements for backup electricity are made in all the COVID-19 hospitals. Shah also advised the chief ministers of West Bengal, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh to plan ahead and keep a buffer stock of oxygen for two days. The Indian Meteorological Department said on Monday that deep depression over the Bay of Bengal has intensified into cyclonic storm Yes and is likely to cross the Odisha West Bengal coast on May 26 after turning into a very severe cyclonic storm. The East Coast Railway has cancelled 90 trains running on this route. It is likely to cancel 10 more by evening as Cyclone Yas gains momentum before intensifying into a severe storm. The NTR Director General said that out of 99 teams are marked for Yas, the bulk of 52 are being deployed in Odisha, followed by 35 in West Bengal, 5 in Tamil Nadu, 3 at Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh and 1 in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and possibly 4 in Jharkhand. He said Odisha has recently upped the requirement of NTR of teams as the state feels that the impact of YAS will be severe, at least to an extent, in its districts and a lot of evacuation and restoration work may be required to be carried out. The National Disaster Response Force has directed its rescue teams to ensure that the country's major medical oxygen generation plants based in Odisha and West Bengal are running and alive during Cyclone YAS.